Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2018 drama film called Fishbowl. The movie opens up with a family containing three daughters and a single father. The eldest daughter, Belle, starts narrating their family condition and how they are viewed in society after their mother's untimely death. Belle's voice in the background explains the conservative society they live in, where no one is allowed to enjoy their life to their fullest. She mentions that there are always people around who judge them for their behavior. She further says that because of this, she is compelled to hide her feelings rather than expressing them. She wishes to become one of the magazine cover models, but her family and society don't allow her to do so. Belle says that the name of her society is Fishbowl and adds that whoever tries to progress in life and get out of the society is dragged down to the bottom by the people, like fish in a water bowl. Following this, Belle talks about her father Rick and introduces him as a good man. She mentions that he makes them pray whenever they drive past a church, as he has become a God-fearing man after their mother passed away. She also narrates that her father cries the whole night, as if it would bring their dead mother back and is fighting hard to restore his faith in God. The scene then shifts to the youngest daughter, Jessa, who is being counseled by a school teacher. He has been counseling her for four months because Jessa has not spoken a word since her mother's death. He tries his best to make her participate in class and speak, but fails. Meanwhile, we learn that the family is looked down upon by society and no one prefers to interact with them. When the second daughter, Rachel, invites her best friend to her birthday party, she refuses to attend it, mentioning that her mother will not allow her to join them. In the following scene, Belle is taking her history exam. As she has no idea about the answers, she tries to cheat. She lifts her skirt and takes a peek at the answers that she has written on her thighs. Unfortunately, the teacher guarding the exam room spots her and confronts her. She humiliates her in front of the whole class, gives her an F on her exam paper, and finally sends her out. Next, Rick can be seen driving his car when he finds a dog lying on the road, dead. He takes a look at a flyer in his hand which seems to have information about the dog owner and the reward for bringing the dog back. Moments later, Rick arrives at the dog's owner's house and hands them their dead dog. The owner is surprised when Rick asks for the reward, but nonetheless, he hands them some money and closes the door. Following this, Rick visits a supermarket and buys a birthday cake for Rachel. The family celebrates Rachel's birthday, but none of them seem to be happy. Rachel misses her mother and remembers all of the beautiful moments she spent with her. Later at night, Rick is watching an interview of Ron Peltz, a famous spiritualist and a follower of Christianity. When the interviewer asks Ron about what he does with all the donation money that he receives from around the world, he answers that he just uses it to please God. He further mentions that he is living in the same house for 10 years, driving the same car for 7 years, and has hardly entered any restaurant to enjoy a fancy dinner. Eventually, he tells everybody about a big calamity happening soon, which will destroy the whole world and allow people to meet their separated loved ones. He then suggests everyone donate $1,000 and take part in his upcoming program to be free from all their sins they have committed in their entire life. Rick is immediately intrigued by the program and thinks to be part of it. Later, as he is sleeping, he has a nightmare, where a large number of crows follow him and fall dead, one by one. The next day, Rick wakes up, takes a bath, and sends his daughters to school. Moments later, when he opens the back door, he is taken aback after noticing a dead crow on his doorstep. At school, Jessa is bullied by an arrogant student named Stephanie. She tries to make fun of Jessa, but the latter punches her hard in the face. When Stephanie attempts to attack Jessa back, Belle arrives and stops her. Later at night, Rick again has a dream where the father of a nearby church is blessing Belle. The next day, when he takes the girls to church, a lot of people look at them in surprise. Right then, Belle walks up to the father and he blesses her. After the church session, the father approaches Rick and tells him to stay away from the church until he admits that what happened to his wife was his fault. At night, Rick watches the advertisement for Ron Peltz's new program, Save Me, and donates $1,000 to be part of it. The following morning, when the girls ask for some pocket money, he gives them only $3 as he spent all the money on Ron Peltz's program. After the girls leave for school, Rick receives a delivery package from the Save Me program and gets some books and a videotape. Elsewhere, the girls ditch their classes and join two boys, Henry and David, to go shopping in the nearby town. While in a shop, Belle comes closer to David and kisses him. In the next scene, Rick is at the house watching Ron Peltz's video message. In the video, Ron mentions that the people who want to secure their place in heaven after the end of the world should follow his Five Steps program. He also mentions that the participants should fast for seven days, not listen to any music, not put on makeup or attend parties, and not read any books other than the Bible. After watching the program, Rick collects all the food items present in the house, along with his daughter's cosmetics, and throws it in the trash can outside. Later, Rick explains the program to his daughters. Soon, the four watch the video of Ron Peltz, where he mentions that the family should bring five other candidates to the program, or else they should donate the amount equivalent to five people. Expectedly, Belle is annoyed and refuses to take part in the program. 
Hearing this, Rick grabs Belle's belongings and asks her to get out of his house. She does so, but soon returns and agrees to obey her father's orders. The next day, the seven-day program starts and the whole family can be seen outside their house, trying to sell their possessions. At the same time, a female broker whom Rick called to sell his house arrives there with customers. She is taken aback to see him selling his belongings in the front yard, but nonetheless informs him that she brought some potential customers for his house. When Jessa hears this, she approaches the customers and hands them a small letter after writing something on it. Moments later, Rick finds out about the letter and punishes Jessa, asking her to write sorry a thousand times. Two days have passed and the girls start to get hungry. They search the entire house for food, but fail to find anything. As a result, they are compelled to steal food from their classmates' lockers at school. In the next scene, Rick trains his daughters to persuade other people to join them in the Save Me program. Reluctantly, the girls go door to door and try their best to convince their neighbors, but to no success. Later at night, the sisters decide to attend a Friday night party with their friends and sneak out of the house without telling Rick. They enjoy the party to the fullest, with Belle spending time with Daniel and Rachel with Henry. Meanwhile, Jessa can be seen feasting after so many days without food. On the other hand, Rick wakes up from a nightmare and when he walks around the house, he finds that his daughters are not there. Enraged, he drinks a bottle of alcohol that he had hidden in the backyard. Later, when the girls return home, Rick punishes them for their betrayal. The next day when the girls are at school, Jessica writes on a piece of paper and passes it to Belle, mentioning that she is scared of her father and the way he treats them. When Belle reads it, she walks out of the room and goes straight to the school church. There, she expresses her situation to God and asks him to show her a sign if he really exists. Surprisingly, the light in the room grows brightly and Belle becomes very happy after seeing this. Later at night, Rachel and Belle are discussing their perilous situation. Meanwhile, the scene shifts to the time when Rick and his wife are preparing to go out for dinner. While his wife is getting ready and instructing her children to take care of themselves, Rick cleans all the alcohol bottles present in the car. However, when he finds alcohol in one of the bottles, he drinks it and gets in the car. Back to the present, it's the last day before the apocalypse. Rick and Belle are trying to persuade their neighbors to join the program to fill their quota for five people. After a couple of failed attempts, Rick takes his daughters and enters the church. There he tries to sell the membership, but no one seems to take him seriously. At night, the girls wear their favorite dresses and remember some beautiful moments they spent with their mother. After that, the whole family gathers at a place and sleeps on the same bed, waiting for the apocalypse to commence. The clock passes midnight, but nothing happens. Because of this, Rick gets up and goes outside to inspect. When he approaches the front door, a bright light falls on him, obstructing his vision. Unfortunately, when he steps out to find out what it is, a couple of people start throwing raw eggs at him. The commotion wakes Belle and Rachel, and they come out to help their father. However, they are also hit by some eggs. During this time, Rick gets a flashback about how his wife died, while he was driving the car intoxicated. The scene then shifts back to the present, where Rick is leaving the house in the town with his family. He takes his daughters to a motel and tells them that they will soon move to a new house. However, Belle knows that Rick is lying to them and is actually looking for a job. The next day, Rick gets a job as a gardener and joins the employer at their new job site. While he is working in the garden, he gets a huge urge to pee and goes to the corner to relieve himself. Unfortunately, the owner spots him and yells at him for his carelessness. The owner is none other than Ron Peltz. Rick gets very angry seeing him enjoying a lavish lifestyle, but controls his rage and returns back. After work, he visits a bar and starts drinking alcohol. The movie ends with the daughters driving away from the town, leaving their father behind.